Hello everyone, Jerry Smith here at the Block 8 Runner. Today we're going to be talking about the easiest way to set your dog tent up. Thanks for joining us. Now if you've bought your dog tent from the Block 8 Runner, it's going to come packaged like this. Actually this is two dog tents already buttoned together. Now if you like a nice clean white tent, don't take it out of the bag because this is the last time it will ever look like this. All right, now when we unfold it, this is the 1864 model, so it's going to have the brass grommets out on the end. Now I've already taken the liberty of taking and running little loops of rope through each of the brass grommets. Because the last thing you want to do is try to drive a tent stake through your brass grommet. It's not going to end well. Go ahead and take some little pieces of scrap rope and just make little loops and run them through just like this. Now that we've got that done, and remember, this one is already buttoned together, we're going to find the spot to lay our tent out. Now if you have any say in where you set your dog tent up, and you probably won't, you want to pick a nice clean spot that drains well on all sides. You're probably just going to set it up wherever your commanding officer tells you to. So once that's done, clean the spot of any rocks, walnuts, things of that nature. Open your tent up, just like that, lay it out. Making sure all your buttons are buttoned together. Here's one I missed. <clears throat> now we know where the center of our tent's gonna be. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull one side back about halfway. Just like that. Lay it out. Now we've gotta have some stakes and a hammer. Now you can use iron stakes like this or a good hardwood stake like this. Today we're just going to be using our iron stake. And we're going to drive them in through the loops, but not too tight yet. Just like that. Now I'm using a sapling kit today, so I'm going to take the pole that I'm using for my ridge pole and slide it right underneath all the way to the back. And I'm going to take my front pole and put it just like this. Now stepping around to the back, doing the same thing. Now, we're gonna to have to recruit a little bit of help. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get the front pole and Colt is gonna get the rear. You ready? Just raise it right up. Now it's time to put your other stakes in. Now you may have noticed, I didn't drive the stakes in very far. The reason for that being, is now I can come back and I can adjust my tent, my ridge pole and uprights any way I like, and when I get them like I want, I can go back and pull these stakes tight one at a time. Now remember, the dog tents aren't waterproof, it's just plain old canvas. The thing that keeps the rain from coming through is simply the steep angle of your tent. Now, you can also, buy an end piece, a triangular piece, that will button right in and enclose the end. Very simple, very easy, it's just like buttoning in the top right here. But that's just how simple it is. Thanks for joining us today. Now remember, if you got here from Blockade Runner, just go up here and hit the back button, you'll go right back. If not, you should go. That's www.blockaderunner.com. Thanks for joining us today.